Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Today uh, we are going to talk a little bit about the Yandex Stream UI 6 and also how to install it and configure it. So the first thing we are going to do is just open our browser, uh, search for World of Warcraft interface. Here we are going to search for MB Extreme. There we have all my add-on packages. Um, let's choose the MB Extreme 6 and go for download. You don't have to uh, log in or create account or anything like that. Here you can just uh, donate some bucks if you want. For me. <laughs> but if you don't, just click this away. Uh, the download is done. I've just saved it on the desktop. Um, we're just going to extract the files. Don't worry, no viruses or bugs or anything in the files. <laughs> Everything is cool. Um, the second thing we're going to do, so now we got the interface. This is the files you uh, you need. So we're just going to open our World of Warcraft direction. World of Warcraft. This is our main direction. This is where uh, all the settings are made and the game is uh, saved and all that stuff. So here we're just going to go ahead, take the fonts, the interface and WTF folder. Uh, you might not have a fonts folder, but that's not a problem, so just take the interface and the WTF. I'm gonna choose right click copy and then we're gonna make a new folder on the desktop. Let's call it World of Warcraft Safe. And then we're just gonna paste all the the folders that we just copied. This is just for a safe reason, you know, so if something is wrong with the files or something is really not working, then you just have a, a copy of your old interface here. Okay, now we're just gonna delete those folders from the World of Warcraft direction. Might take some time. Done. Okay. So now we just reset the whole World of Warcraft thing. So if I just uh, log into my World of Warcraft account, you will see you will have the the original World of Warcraft stuff. Is my frap still running? I don't know. Hopefully. Okay, we're gonna choose our server. Back. Okay, let's take our Stormer Scale server. And as you see, we don't have an add ons button here, so. No add ons installed. Where's my coffee? Here's my coffee. Ah. Okay, as you see, everything is resetted. We have the basic uh, default UI. Oh, my wall mill is completed. Let's check this one. Yay, level 2. I just want to transmog actually. <laughs> okay. So now we're just gonna make our basic settings. So I'm just gonna go with graphic settings to ultra, of course. Apply. Okay. So all my settings are done, which I want to have. Oh, what the fuck is this? No, I don't want to change. Keep this one. Okay, this so was just uh, Windows. Okay, so we made all, uh, all our settings, we're just gonna go and... Oh, wait a second, we want to have full screen windowed. That's better. Okay. Now we're just gonna exit the game. And now we're gonna check our files. So we're gonna open again our World of Warcraft direction. World of Warcraft. So now it created a new interface and a new WTF folder. In this WTF folder you have the account folder and this here is your account name. You need that one later on. As well if you go into this uh, you have your server name and also your character name. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our whole MBX Stream UI, the folder we downloaded, and just gonna take all these files except the screenshots and the readme, just gonna copy. And we're gonna paste it in our World of Warcraft direction, which I closed again. What the fuck? World of Warcraft. Okay, we're gonna close the Fraps window. Okay, now he asks uh, if you want to uh, place all the add-on, uh, the, all the folders in your current folders. We're gonna say yes. So now he copies everything. And he will also see that we have our new fonts folder, our interface, add-ons folder, where all the add-ons are. And now we have to make the important steps, which is the WTF folder, the renaming. 
Okay, so we have our account here. This one is the one we saw before, which I showed you with your account name. And this one here is the new one. You're gonna re uh, rename this to your account name. So basically, let's just rename this to underline old, for example. So you just uh, know what to do. So we're gonna rename this one. I'm gonna take your account name, copy, and rename this one to your account name. Okay, the next thing is, you're gonna see in the new folder, rename this to your server name. If we go back to the old one, uh, this one was Stormscale, so we're gonna just copy paste this one to this one. And as well, if we go into the old one, Stormscale, I'll correct the name, rename, and save it over the new one, rename to your correct name, so rename this. And that's basically it, so you have to check. If you go to your WTF folder, you have an account folder, that's okay. Then you have your account name, followed by the server name, followed by the correct name. So now we're gonna check again. Let's close this one and open World of Warcraft again. Now you will get a notification that uh, there are add-ons which are outdated but they actually work, so we're just gonna skip it and say load anyway. Okay, the game, uh, the game may not cor uh, work correctly unless you have updated all your add-ons, blah 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 blah. We say okay. So here you see our add-ons button. You need to make sure that you have just enabled all and load out of date add-ons. So you check this and you check this, okay, and log in. So basically you load just every add-on. So if it did the renaming correctly, then we will see what ha will happen. There we go. That's just everything done. Everything works. What about the cast bars? All in place. That's good. What about the combat text? There might be some add-ons that will not load the M Extreme UI 6.0, and for that you have the reflux command. So we're gonna type in slash reflux switch mb extreme ui 6.0 press enter then he reloads and checks every add-on is there a profile called mb extreme ui 6.0 if yes then load it okay everything looks pretty fine here let's see the combat text the nice damage add-on is working our mix crawling battle text is working seems like all fine here but for uh, now we're gonna check if we're just gonna make a new character. So we're just gonna log out as soon as I'm out of fight. Might take a couple of seconds. Oh, come on, let me log out. So always when you're in combat you can't log out instantly. Oh, come on. No. Perfect. Okay, let's log into our Siley Myrus. Add-ons, load out of date, enable everything. Coffee. Ah. Okay, this is this is might uh, what you see on your screen. Like everything is fucked up. Like nothing is working. Just add-ons. So now we're gonna check slash reflux switch ambi extreme UI 6.0. And there we go. Everything is set up. Everything is working. That's pretty nice. Uh, here is just the uh, experience bar. So we're just gonna go slash bartender 4. And then you have, as you see, just the experience bar and the uh, reputation bar. If you don't need them, you're just gonna go for the reputation bar. Disable and the... Where was it? Reputation? XP bar. Disable. And there we go. Pretty sweet UI, I think. Uh, if you find any bugs or anything you want to change, or I don't know what, you know, then just message me so I can keep it up to date. Oh, this is a good example. You might see it because I'm always playing a DK, so I have the runes, I have them set up on the bottom here, and now uh, I'm looking on the wall. Can you see the soul shards uh, on the top of the window? Uh, you might have this on a paladin with holy power or a rope with combo points and all that kind of stuff. So, no. 
So we're gonna fix that with slash pitbull. This is the add-on for uh, all those player frames and stuff. Then we're gonna choose our player model. So this is just the player uh, here. So if I choose the target frame, then it will be this one. Here is the target of target. And if we type in focus, this is our focus target. So basically we want to check the player frame. And here we have the, the tab indicators. And here you will have a tab named by uh, the stuff you want to change, you know. Uh, for the warlock it will be the soul shards or uh, what was the other thing? Like if you play destruction some sparks or I don't know never mind so here will be a tab for soul shards somewhere or is it face portrait PvP soul shards so we wanna go ahead and location we're gonna use outside bottom outside below yeah outside below then we're gonna check the size and set it to 200% and for the background color, color, we're just gonna make the transparency to zero, as you see here. Black, zero, black, zero. And then you have it beautiful under the bottom, and then you can just work with it. Same works with uh, totem timers uh, for the shaman, or like I said, the holy power and stuff. So this is actually might be the only thing you have to fix if there's something not working. Um, no idea, Titan Battle, for example, just right click and look for uh, the profiles and then you see the MBEX Stream UI 6.0 as well for, I don't know, let's say Pitbull. You have somewhere the profiles and always check that you have the MBEX Stream UI 6 activated. Yeah, that's for it now. Like I said, if you have any, uh, if you find any bugs or if anything is not working at all, then just message me, I will fix it, I will make an update and then you can just download the new version of the UI. Yeah, now since the UI is finished, I will start making uh, the DPS guides again for Wallets of Draenor. So next week, I think, is the first raiding week. And yeah, let's see how many videos I can bump out so you guys uh, know how to play it correctly. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Please leave a subscribe uh, if you liked what you see or if you want to keep track on what I'm doing. Also like the video and all that kind of stuff, Facebook, MB Extreme Esports, Twitter, MB Extreme Live and all the social media stuff, you know. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. See ya.